All right, guys, I'm gonna do another quick video for y'all on my new equipment trailer that I picked up last Monday. Of course, it's all dirty and already getting somewhat abused. But this is my new 20 foot iron ball equipment trailer. I picked this up at Hank William Trailers down in Murfreesboro. Those guys are great. Give them a little shout out. But this is it. I'm actually, actually really, I didn't think I was gonna like this trailer, but I actually really do. Got the, I think those are four, five or six foot uh, spring-loaded equipment ramps that slide in and out. They're really handy. I thought those would be a pain in the ass, but they're not. I got quite a bit of tie downs. There's four on top. I got stake pockets and then there's some on the sides. Got one there. Should be one over there by that tire. Same thing on the other side. And then there's another one on the side, D-ring wise. I'm gonna take this to Arkansas and have my welder well quite a few more on. But the whole reason I got this was it's just, I mean, it sounds like a wimp, but it's kind of sketchy and dangerous loading shit on a dump trailer, you know? And I needed, originally I got that bigger dump trailer you know, to where it handle my uh, full-size skid steer once I get it. But I was like, you know, with how sketchy, like, I, like loading those two things on that trailer is, again, not to sound like a wimp, but that thing especially, good lord, that thing will just, it tips back so much on that one or that one with the longer ramps. That thing's fine. Um but with how that thing was i just didn't want to risk loading a full-size skid steer in there i know people do it and i know i could do it it's just i don't want to take the risk so i bought this and it's actually good so in case that trailer's in the shop for something i have a backup trailer to transport all my stuff and vice versa then also i don't have to lug around those heavy metal ramps anymore i just fold them up so this thing worked out really well. Um, so this trailer, it generally comes stock with 14 or two 7K axles. I got this one with two 8Ks, so it's a 16K trailer, but on paper on the rating, it still says 14K. I'll kind of show you. This toolbox is really nice. It's huge. So, I can store all my straps in there. I got a couple new ones. Then I'll have room for binders as well because I'll need binders for my bigger skid steer once I get it. But yeah, this is it. And it's got a really nice heavy duty hitch to two inch five sixteenths. Then I can also change it out to a pencil hitch or something. Um, the jack's all right. Eventually, I'll probably like put an electric one on there or something. And then I got a, I can have a place to mount a winch on here too, which I'll probably do. It has removable fenders on it. it. Has good lighting on it. The lights are actually pretty sick. I wish they added some more like of those orange lights because like at night it is kind of hard to see where this is trailing where the wheels are sort of like how this dump trailer has right there those those lights right there so but th again this is an iron bull uh 20 foot trailer at hank william trailers and they're pretty good on price so like originally this trailer with like the 7k axles was like around eight or nine thousand and then my final cost with upgrading the axles was like 10700 So they actually, you know, for how this thing's built, I'm pretty happy with the price. Like compared to that freaking, not the excavator, but that dump trailer, that piece of crap. But it's not a piece of crap, but just cosmetic wise it is. But yeah, so I'm I'm pretty happy with it. 
got a big toolbox, got plenty of room. I wanted to get like a 22 or a 25 foot with the mega ramps, but I just couldn't really find any. Um, but next year I'll probably, I mean, I plan on keeping this trailer a long time because it's a nice trailer. I kind of been playing musical trailers this year, buying and selling different ones, but this one I'll keep and the next year I'll probably get a gooseneck 30 foot or something with the mega ramps. But I didn't think this thing was 20 foot at first, but it is, which I don't believe. I measured it though. It feels a lot smaller. Like this thing towing compared to towing that 18 foot gooseneck, that 18 foot gooseneck's more a pain in the ass to tow than this thing, which is all about where your axles are located. And then, you know, a bumper pulls a different pivot point, but I like it. I feel like I'm towing my mowing trailer almost, and it's only 12 foot. So it, it doesn't feel much different than that, even though it's eight feet longer. But anyway, well, that's it on this video. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I'll answer them. And I'll keep you updated on this one. See you guys in the next one.